Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm testing Abercrombie and Fitch Curve Love Jeans. I don't know about you, but I have seen quite a lot surrounding these jeans and like the hype around these jeans. Loads of people saying that these are perfect if you have a small waist and bigger hips, if you've got that sort of proportions going on. So I thought, why not give these a try? I do a lot of these testing jeans type videos. So if that's your kind of thing, make sure you subscribe to my channel. In the past I've done testing white jeans, I've done testing Levi jeans, testing ASOS jeans and I've also filmed a testing denim shorts video as well. So if that's your kind of thing and if you're always on the hunt for the perfect pair of denim or if you just want to know how a particular style or a particular brand's denim looks then do subscribe to my channel as I film loads of these kind of videos. So like I said today I am focused on Abercrombie and Fitch Curve Love jeans. Sizing one they start from a waist 23 and they go up to a waist 37 and then in terms of length there are five different lengths so there is extra short short regular long and extra long I managed to order four different pairs within the curve love range there are more than the ones that I have ordered however sizing was quite scarce and I found it really tricky to find my size in the denim so the ones I've picked are the ones I managed to get in my size there are a few options that I'm missing purely because they didn't have my size or they were just like styles that I wouldn't really wear like for example ripped jeans which I'm not really into at the moment and also just different colours. So all four pairs that I have are a blue wash denim and all four pairs are also in a waist 25. I do have slightly varying lengths in them, again purely down to the sizing. I did try to get most of them in the regular length for a fair comparison but there are one or two pairs I think I may have got in the long length instead but purely because sizing was quite scarce. Final thing before I get on to the first pair of jeans and try them on I wanted to let you know my sizing because I always think it's really helpful in these videos for you to know my sizing even if you're just using that as a reference or if you're the same size as me it's a good way to be able to see exactly how these look and how they may look on you as well so I am 5'9 so I am quite tall however most of my height is in my torso so I think I actually have quite like standard length legs if that makes sense so usually I would go for a regular length in my denim and then in terms of uh, sizing I'm a UK size 6 to 8 and in my denim I usually go for a waist 25 so let's get going this is pair number one these are the 90s relaxed jean in a high rise I think all of these on the website are called something like ultra high rise so most of them are high waisted jeans you won't really get a like low rise style in this particular range I think where it's a curve love range it's sort of designed to fit you really well at the waist and then slightly looser along the hips area that's the whole point of this range so most of them are high-waisted as these are so I got these in a waist 25 the same as all the others but these are in the length long so these are the only ones that I got in the longer length and you can definitely tell however I don't think that these are too long I think they're just the perfect length to be honest with you because obviously in my try on clips I'm not wearing any shoes with them and I think even if I were to wear these with just a pair of flat shoes like trainers for example the length of these would still be pretty much perfect in my opinion so I'm very happy that actually this particular pair I ended up having to buy in a longer length because I think that they are perfect they are definitely a true straight leg in my opinion I mean you can see they pretty much go straight up and down not too much difference with the leg length but they are still quite loose but still flattering along the bum they fit okay around the waist and actually I think this is something that you're going to notice throughout that in terms of waist sizing I still don't think it's quite right in terms of being high-waisted I wouldn't say they are super high-waisted or ultra high-waisted as they're classified on the website I would say they're just a standard high waist and for the 90 relaxed jean these cost 72 pounds then we have the 90s straight 
ultra high rise jeans. These I got in a waist 25 but I managed to nab these in the regular leg length. I think you can pretty much instantly tell just how much more high waisted these are and I don't know if it's because of the slight crossover bands that these have which actually I thought I would really like but looking at it on camera I actually don't think I like this sort of design detail. I just think it looks a little bit weird. It kind of looks like I've just added a button in a random place to make these fit me a little bit better. They're a slim straight jean and I kind of think that this is a mix between what should be a skinny jean but then sort of a, a straight leg at the bottom of the jeans. I don't know. I just don't know if maybe it's this style that I don't particularly like on me and maybe I just find it to be a little bit unflattering. It's definitely a straight leg that's for sure but where it's a little bit slimmer and therefore tighter around my thighs I just think it looks a little bit unflattering on. These, like I said, I got in the regular length, but again, I actually think the length of these is quite long. I think too long for me, to be honest. Something to bear in mind. And this pair retails for £80. Next up, we have the 90s straight. These I got in a waist 25 and a regular length. You can see that these are very much a straight leg, but so far I've only showed you straight legs, actually. This one is probably the most true to a straight leg in my opinion. I just don't think this style is the most flattering on me personally. I don't know what it is about this sort of straight leg but I'm just really not that into it. Let me know what you think. Maybe it's just because this isn't the type of denim I would usually wear or the style of denim I'd usually wear so maybe I'm finding that a little bit hard to get my head around but let me know what you think. I still think that these are a flattering fit. They fit really nicely along the bum, along the thighs. The waist is slightly roomy though and that's something I've noticed throughout so I'll mention that towards the end of the video though. In terms of being a straight leg, 100% agree they're definitely a straight leg. They definitely don't feel too rigid or hard to move around in or anything like that. They do feel quite nice. I just don't know how I feel about this particular style. And these jeans retail for £75. For the final pair next, these are the ones that I have a sneaky suspicion I will probably like the most. So these are called the mom jean. They're a high rise and I got these in a waist 25 and the regular leg length as well. Straight off the bat you can see that leg length is completely different with these. I just think that these are designed to be a slightly more cropped length I'd say. A few years ago this would have 100% been my vibe but at the moment I definitely like a slightly longer length jean so I would probably go for the long length in these. These are my type of denim though. It's that kind of tapered leg that I quite like. A classic mum fit in my opinion. High-waisted but not super high-waisted. Not uncomfortably high-waisted basically. I think that these are potentially the most flattering out of all of them. Let me know what you think. They're not too tight going down the legs or anything like that. They don't bunch up anywhere. I think they are a really nice comfortable size. They're quite flattering around the bum and then the waist is again just a little bit roomy in my opinion. So rather than sort of coming in like your natural waist shape, I just think that these are still quite straight up and down. And this style of jean costs £72. Okay, so now that I've tried all four pairs, I'm going to quickly go through my thoughts because I'm not a huge fan. I'm going to be completely honest. I expected to love every single pair of these and I expected to find it really hard to decide which pair is actually my favourite but honestly I don't think that's the case. Some of these I just didn't really love. Now I do have to say that unfortunately I wasn't able to try all the different styles within the Curve Love range. As I said, sizing was quite scarce. I wasn't able to get my size in all of the different styles. So I ended up purchasing, I mean three of the four were straight leg style of jeans and maybe it's just because a straight leg isn't really the type of denim that I usually go for. So maybe that's what's kind of thrown me off a little bit. But with that said, one thing I found 
found throughout is that the sizing doesn't seem to be quite right for me like maybe I'm in between sizing here because I did actually order one pair of jeans in a waist 24 and that one just did not fit it did not do up at all it sort of got up I got it up but I wasn't able to button it up so that makes me think that a waist 24 in all these styles simply will not fit me but a waist 25 feels a little bit too roomy and as a general rule with denim I would rather have something that feels a little bit snug and a little bit tight when I first purchase it because I know that with wear and with washes it does typically stretch denim has a tendency to stretch out the more you wear and use those pairs of jeans basically and I feel like with these they all fit a bit too comfortably which I know sounds really weird to say but I know that if I wear them for like a few months or something I know that they're going to stretch out and then eventually they will be too big and the point of this particular curve love range in my opinion anyway is to fit you perfectly around the waist and I just don't think that's the case with these I think even when trying them on you can see that they don't really sort of cinch in at the waist the way you would expect them to if they are wider around the hips and then tighter around the waist basically I think that even when I'm trying them on you can see that they kind of just look like a, a boxy shape like straight up and down which isn't really catering to larger hips smaller waist scenarios so I'm just not sure about these none of them really blew me away I don't think I found the best new pair of denim or anything like that so that's my two cents let me know what you think I honestly expected to fall in love with these I was actually kind of dreading it because they are such pricey jeans but admittedly I don't love any of the pairs that I just shared so I'd be really interested to hear your feedback if you've tried Abercrombie and Fitch's curve love range in the past let me know what you think about it as well I mean maybe these jeans are your favorite so let me know what you think I am tempted to try the size down in at least the 90s relaxed fit jeans and the mum jeans in a smaller size and a longer length to see if that could potentially sway me and maybe it was just me with the sizing that I ordered the wrong sizing for these type of jeans. I'm not entirely sure but I do have to say based off these four pairs that I tried today I'm not swayed, I'm not won over, I have other jeans that I prefer. I hope you enjoyed today's video. As I mentioned at the start of the video, I do film sort of testing jeans videos regularly here on my channel. So if you want to see more videos and more of that, then check out my playlist, but also subscribe so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. A very big thank you for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all soon in my next video. Bye!